Well, hello, it's me, Creaky, or as I'm known by today's guest creator, Dad. Anyway, I'm guessing a lot of you lovely people are already subscribed to Lord Callum, but for those of you that aren't, ask yourself this. Why is he making a video on not helping his parents move? Exactly. Selfish. Damn, I meant to think that, not say it out loud. Anyway, when I was writing the intro, Lord Callum hadn't even recorded his video, so it better be good or I'm not giving him our new address. And Mrs. Blinder said it's fine. So what have you got for us, Lord Callum? Hello, hello, hello. I'm Lord Callum, and I'm sat in front of you today completely by my own free will because the creaky blinder is a normal member of society with luscious golden locks and is not the member of any secret government organisation, i.e. the Freemasons and or the Illuminati. This might sound like a weird way to start, but I can promise you I most definitely wrote this intro with absolutely no outside influence. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Karens, but not just any Karens. This is the most progressive Karen dynamic I've ever seen. A Karen power couple. Proving that Karen is not a term that's only used for bitter middle-aged women with a hilarious sense of entitlement. And it can be spread across all ages, genders and classes. Not only that, this Karen power couple is led by Mark Bailey, who is the owner of Wales' largest car sales company, Trade Center Wales. Oh, sorry, Mark. Are you getting a boost while driving your brand new Ferrari? We're not even 20 seconds into this clip yet, and there's already so much to dissect. Mark Bailey thinks because he's rich, he can do whatever he wants. He likes everyone to know that he's rich, clearly. Driving past in my brand new Ferrari. Oh, did, did I mention I have a Ferrari? Oh, I did. Sorry. Well, not only do I have a Ferrari, it's also brand new. And it's a Ferrari. And that woman stood next to him. I know what you're thinking. How did one of the teenagers get so close to him with a camera in his face? Well, surprisingly, that's because it's not one of the kids skating the waterfront. That's actually Mark's wife. And I can definitely deduce that she is not with him for his money. Honestly. Definitely not. No way, sir. She's definitely with him for his money. Because I don't want to put up with you the abuse. Like, abuse. Yeah, There's yeah, no I need to do it with you personally. You wonder why we've disagreed because of all this. Let me just stop the entertainment that is watching two entitled nipple clamps scream at a group of teenagers for just one minute because you're probably looking for some context. Why are they angry? Why are they getting abuse? Well, let me tell you why. Swansea doesn't have that many outdoor skate spots. And for the last couple of years, a local skate company have been working their asses off to get planning permission to build a good skate park on the Swansea waterfront. There's been a lot of ups and downs when it comes to the approval of this skate park by the council, but they finally got it. It's a big win for the city, and it's definitely a big win for the youth and the skate community. But Mark and his wife built a house across the road from where the skate park is gonna be, and also where the current skate ramp is. And now Mark is upset because, and you're not gonna believe this, I don't know how he hasn't curled up into a ball and had a heart attack with the shocker that's about to come. He's angry because there are people skating the skate spot. Outrageous! What an absolute menace to society these kids are. Skating in a skate park? I never. On top of this, Mark Bailey is trying to stop the skate park being built. Because nothing says out of touch entitled sack of sh quite like trying to stop children having fun on public land. Get off the ramp. There's people moaning in to wake up kids six and eight years ago. Skating the ramp. You teach it. Stand on the ramp, you play one too. Yes, you, you did hear that correctly. Because everyone knows that threatening to assault a minor is definitely the way to get what you want. She might as well have like a sign around her neck that just says Super Karen and be done with it. Because that is impressively low, even for a Karen. I've asked for the speaker. I've asked the sponsor of the skateboard. Oh, 
You've offered to sponsor it. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? But why would you sponsor a skate park that you're so hell-bent on stopping getting built? I've, I've offered £500,000 to sponsor the, race board, the, the skateboard park in a different location. You know I mentioned my uh, brand new Ferrari earlier. I'm not quite sure if you know what I meant by that, but... I'm actually really, really rich. So obviously, if I just throw money at stuff, things have to go my way. Checkmate, youngsters. See, when I first heard that he'd offered all that money, for a brief moment, I thought, okay, uh, fair enough. He's not opposing it altogether. He just wants it to be somewhere else. But then I stepped back into actual reality, and I remembered that this skate park has taken years to get approval and him throwing his money at it to put it somewhere else just puts the skate park back at square one and it could take years to even see approval of a new park never mind it being built now you might be on mark bailey's side you might think being a big greasy rich swindler with a suspiciously young looking wife entitles you to be able to throw money about and get what you want and in that case i'd say fine that's your choice you're entitled to your opinion. But you might want to purchase one of these crazy inventions, right? It's like this little square comes in all shapes, but small ones are square. Um, and when you look at it, your reflection is right in front of you. They're called um, mirrors, I think. Mirrors, is that is that right? And once you've purchased that mirror, hold it up in front of yourself stare into it and take a long, hard look at yourself. But if you're an actual human with like, feelings and stuff, you might be wondering how has the community reacted to this? Well, the local community have started a trend called Beep for the Bell End. <laughs> that graffiti isn't real by the way, it's photoshopped. I didn't do it, but you get the point. But essentially, because Mark is a big entitled bell end, he thinks that building an expensive house on a main road means he now owns the area and is able to control what goes on around him. So people are now driving past his house and honking as loud and as long as they can. And I gotta be honest, I like it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Is this childish? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it a completely over-the-top but hilarious way into bullying an old rich man into knowing the community hates him? Absolutely. And it brings me great joy to know that most of the people beeping as they call past are quite a bit older. Everyone is taking the side of the youth of Swansea. Money doesn't buy you respect, Mark Bailey. You can be a douchebag with £10 or £10 million. The community will win every single time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, obviously subscribe to the Creaky Blinder. And why not head over to my channel and subscribe to that too. Lord Callum, no spaces. Thank you for watching. I've been Lord Callum and have a good day. Peace. All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the Creaky Blind.